What's up you guys, Dead Scythe Games here, and welcome back to Stellaris. Alright, so, left off last time. Um, because of the way Paradox does it in this game, I'm doing Iron Man mode. But, it doesn't let you save it wherever you want, you have to save it at the end of the month. But you can load. It, it's kind of weird... I guess, but it works. I don't know. So I did skip to the end of the month. A couple of things finished. One, our research finished. We now got a spaceport level two available. Ooh, auto cannon, large caliber ballistic weapons that fire cased explosive shells. The main advantage of this cannon is their high rate of fire. Or just des destroyers. Definitely want destroyers. Our fleet is in combat. Fighting one of those aliens. They finally reached them. And they're doing very well. We only lost one ship. And I, as far as I know... I feel like that's really loud. Let me see if I can bring the effect volume down. Is that the... Situation log updated. No, I don't think it was. Ambient volume, maybe? Time to bring all their volumes down. Something like that. Alright, and we just got this last one, and then we can come and keep researching this area. I think I am going to build... Um, you in my space now? No. I am going to build another science ship, though. As well as a spaceport level 2. So, science ship level 2 spaceport. Because I want to make sure that we can actually get our destroyers when they're ready. Yes, I know. Time project. That's fine. Hostile fleet's present. Yes. That's just combat status. Hostile fleet engaged. Oop, missed. Ha. You missed. You missed. My ships don't miss. That's just so cool. Love the space battles. Space is just amazing. Situation log updated. Oh, our Admiral leveled up. Which is great. Uh, we're going to send them into repairs. You leveled up, which is awesome, which means fire rates plus 10%, upkeep minus 8%, and then also the plus 20% ship hull, which is awesome. That's still such a great skill. We are colonizing over here as well still, obviously. I'm not just going to end our colonization. Oh, perfect. You've got three food. You can build another basic hydroponics farm there. When you're done, we will definitely build a research center right on top of you. Right on top of you. They're going to go back and repair. Oops, science ship's ready. Perfect. You're just orbiting, yeah, you're orbiting Antonaba. And he'll do all those special projects and give us all the bonuses that we need. Here we go. After almost giving up hope, studying the accursed ceramic object for so long, we have reached a breakthrough. The object isn't really there, but it rather is a projection from a higher dimension. Analyzing it as a shadow of a fourth dimensional object, we have accumulated enough data to decrypt its message. The object teaches us how to improve in all fields of research. The only question now is, who sent this information? Plus 15% research speed on everything? For a pretty good amount of time. That's awesome. Now, I won't spoil anything, but there is a there is a nice little secret 
in this game that shows up later. Okay, so increase our speed. And we'll go back to Tazari. How are you doing? Oh yeah, we don't have atmospheric manipulation. It's a tomb world. Construction complete. Oh, so it's experiencing a nuclear winter somehow. Construction complete. That is so weird. Construction complete. Construction, construction, uh, repairs, perfect. Oh, science ship. Oh, you're still not a level five. Okay, well, if you're not still a level five, we you can go here and survey the system then. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. Ignore the cats, because the cats are just yelling at each other constantly today. Border range is going to be amazing. Now we can build planetary capitals. Which means even on Athenabia, I believe, we could upgrade our planetary administration. Yep, planetary capital. We just need 500. Dang. Mm-hmm. Construction complete. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Upgrade that planetary capital. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, that's a bug. Um, I don't know if anyone else has seen that before, but... What are you... Investigating Delta aliens? Aren't you supposed to be, like, surveying the system? Because you're doing this stuff. And you're not making any progress? Evading hostile fleet. Where? Oh, gosh. Tropical, ocean, desert. <sighs> no, just stop whatever you're doing. I don't know what's wrong with my science ships. But it's like they're not actually doing anything. Like, this guy is not making any progress. Is it because I need a leader? Oh, I bet it's because I need a leader. And I told him to do a special project. Well, just as requires a science ship, it's like the science ship's not there.
I have no idea of why this is happening. Honestly, you add. Okay, um. I will recruit. A no, I don't need a leader though. Disband it and build another one, I want to say, because that was weird. Okay, we've encountered some aliens. We've got three cast system, these strange objects, and Edda aliens. Edda aliens. Edda aliens. Oh, these guys. It's a Gaia world, a Gaia world, whatever you want to call it. Okay, um, alien space station. I didn't know there was an alien space station here. Okay. Construction complete. Okay, now. Please don't have a heart attack. Go here. I need to do my situation long. This is getting ridiculous. I really need this debris, too. Honestly. Go and research it. It literally needs to be researched. This is important stuff here. Still no progress. System survey complete. Okay, well, I guess I'll disband you again, and you come do it. And if you can't do it, then I don't know what to do. I don't know if anyone else has run into this bug. If you guys have, just post it in the comments or something, because I have never run into this bug. Research. Oh, right, you're not in my range. But research complete with warp drive 2. Awesome. We need, we're going to need better energy. We're getting up there in tech that we need better energy. Research complete. Is that the way? Yeah, that was the 20% border range. Do a biolab. Are you making progress? You are. Thank you. Okay. That one. That one. And that one. I... Maybe you did need a leader and just doesn't say it. See? Red crystal capacitors and regenerative whole tissue and then just any research is plus five. I don't know why I just could not get it to do it. 
Debris analyzed. I could colonize this. I should. I should colonize it. Spaceport, give me a colony. Colonize pest. Start standing out this way. Extending out this way. Obnal, how are you doing? Dakush. Pyramid is doing very well, indeed. Basic science lab. That'll give us some great research. Debris analyzed. Thank God. Okay, what other special projects do I need to do? Which is society research. Research complete. Which is some society research first. Oh yeah, regenerative whole tissue. I do want to do this though, because I want our borders. I, it extends the borders more, and that's going to help against more empires. And then we can do regenerative whole tissue and stuff. Research complete. Perfect. Oof. Red shard thrower could do that. No, we're needing more energy. Oh my god, that's gonna take forever. Construction complete. At least five pops. One, Special two, three, four. Complete. Ooh. Ancient mining drones. Reports of deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. Their purpose is obvious enough mining, but who it is that tasks them to do it is not immediately apparent. What is obvious is that no shipment of minerals has been retrieved from this system in hundreds if not thousands of years. They may be old drones, but they should be kept under watch by the Kalexian Empire. All right. So either we can establish a listening post, which means we watch them, or begins the mining drone analysis event chain. Ooh. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Okay. Yeah. Research the mining drones because we might be able to get more minerals or something. That'd be cool. Also, it looks like Galorum is finally within our grasp. Which means we can do that. Finally. Tazri. Oh. Complete. The drones are remarkably, remarkably efficient at squeezing ever-diminishing returns from rocks collection and miners would have soon discarded, deemed exhausted of all worthwhile mineral content. Our top engineers are working on adapting the drone's methodology for use in the Kalexan Empire's mining networks and stations, which should improve efficiency, effectively lessening ex energy expenditure. Of lesser import is the fact that the drones are not completely silent, contrary to previous assumptions. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently at a wavelength, hard to isolate from background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings, it may be a mystery for another time. Situation log updated. And then we get... High value mining targets. Which we can track on the map and zoom out, I believe. Yep, here we go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Those are the high value min mining targets. Gotta just keep. Keep giving my colony ship. Call
colonize it. Place it there. Go before someone else does. That'll give us this entire area, hopefully. That'll give me another Batherian power plant available, which is going to be great, huh, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Special project awesome. Complete. Crystalline and eddies. The reports of strange free-floating crystal-like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. The ship-sized objects and their similarly small but equally crystal-like satellites at first appear inert, but sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they should be guarded as hazardous and approach with caution. Even should we not find a martial use for them, studying a shattered crystal will no doubt yield interesting effects. Situation log updated. These little bonuses are going to be great. We'll finish what we have. And good. The colony's going. It's just that little space there. There we go. Grow. Grow. Special project complete. The crystalline entities. The name itself a compromise between ri rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Athenabia are probably alive. Probably. They don't know. An earlier or per and perhaps more descriptive name for them was Cicillate animate, animate Matter as they have little in common with biological life. They are solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign, rarely seen with more than a sentinel and a smaller cohort a entity. Aside from the cohort and sentinel clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuances of the crystalline entity's socio-hieratical relationships are not lost on us. The entities do not seem to mate, and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to early hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual crystal entities seems to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed, and it appears as if through spy sporadic fluctuations in this charge after ref refractive properties of the crystal. Find practical use for it. Awesome. Construction ship. Since I can't colonize ocean worlds, you get to go there and give me some more society research. The science ship. And survey more systems. We'll do this really quick and then we'll just keep going. Look at these guys. I have no idea if they're actually hostile or not. I think they are. Hey, an arid world Special we can colonize. The entities encountered by our fleets some time ago are space-borne forms of life. Quickly named Space Amoeba, following an anal analyst's gross misreading of an initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Kalaxan and Corvette. Further study is warranted. We may choose to either remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Athenabia, or attempt to swiftly bring down a specimen to study and eventually commercially exploit its remains. Either we can do that... Or... 
Situation log we'll updated. study it. Colony established. So the colony was established on Zarichi. Anomaly found. System survey. Search. He's going to research that anomaly, but besides that, just a nice colonizable world, it looks like. Special project complete. New evasion plus 5% is all we get. Situation Wait, Mount updated. Graveyard Expedition? A starship graveyard on the surface of Brianus V. The result of a titanic battle that occurred in close over thousands of years ago. Yes, please do. That sounds really cool. Oh, my influence is full? Um, there is actually something we can use our influence for. I believe there's planetary edicts that... Yeah, see? You can activate. That lasts 10 years and you pay 150 influence. And we'll also do... Production. That gives us a little more minerals. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And that gives us 20% in everything, I think. And so now it's only 60, 36. He's mounting a graveyard expedition. Special project complete. Okay, so the team under Science Officer Moss has finished their expedition on Brynus 5 and returned to the Zakathor. Sadly, the wrecked starships of the surface were too badly damaged to recover any useful technologies. These vessels were clearly advanced, however, and we could gain valuable engineering insights if we analyzed the way they were designed. We should consider the construction of a permanent science outpost in orbit. So that gave it the planet three engineering, which we are going to take high advantage of. Because we're low on engineering, considering. Research complete. Oh yeah. Another better defense station, and now we can unlock destroyers. Do solar panel network and then destroyers. And we can actually design some destroyers too. This is our first destroyer designed, and we're going to delete it. New design for the destroyer. So I'm thinking three small to fire, that we can just get fire out. And then Shine Bulwark. And that'll give us a nice big weapon. So we can do that and that. That gives us like 10 a second. About 10 a second.
give it a bunch of armor so it won't die and we'll call it the point class look at that you guys look at that gorgeous destroyer it's actually kind of cool looking it really is actually and that'll beef up the fleet exponentially What time? Oh my. I lost track of time. Alright, you guys. So, I'm going to set some more targets to be surveyed. Survey that one. 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 So, that we'll go survey all those systems. Um, well, when we come back the next time. Oh, oh, I haven't surveyed that system. What is it? Anyways, it looks like we are at four planets now. We can actually have five directly controlled, so we're going to have to start doing something called sectors, and I'm not sure how that works, so I'm going to have to look at that, because I've never actually made it that far to owning planets. I've, it's, I've always had really bad luck finding planets in the last couple of games I've actually played. But... Not sure if we're going to actually colonize Brynus. I mean, we could. It, it actually would give us a lot more mineral output, to, or actually give us a lot more resource output to colonize that. Yeah, it could be well worth our time to colonize it. Who knows? But that'll do it for this episode, you guys. So, come back the next time. Hopefully our upgrades on the station will be completed so we can start building our destroyers, as you can see. Look how awesome those things look. Oh, yeah. Hopefully soon we'll also be able to get our regenerative armor and we'll replace this, some of these with regenerative. And that will just heat those. Uh, that actually heals the ship if you didn't just get, get it by the name. <laughs> we'll also design some better defense stations. Um, yeah, so even larger military stations. And that will be really, really good. We're going to build them around like the capital and our center plants first because... My strategy is, as they move in, it gets harder and harder, we get more defensive. And we'll keep, since our person, I don't know, he's not really an ally right now, but since he's right there, we're going to keep expanding this way. Hopefully there's no one, like, right in here, because this would be a, lots of planets in here we can get resources from, hopefully. Take over that entire area, and then we'd have this entire, like, if you want to call it, north quadrant of the galaxy actually yeah hopefully I'm not sure what to do about these guys um, when we get the destroyers we might go and actually kill them and that way we can actually do something with this system as well as the alien vessels in Arachnos which I don't even know what they look like because no one I didn't even get to see it the void cloud here in Asarte. Um, the military station, the pirate station in Dandar, and Zoldori. Their alien station stuff. So hopefully we'll get to that in the next episode as well. Well, if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope to see you the next time. Have a good day.